Today, students, I am Sir Gilbert N. Lahara, your teacher in physical education and health 12. In today's lesson, we are going to discuss about hip hop dance or street dance. Before we proceed to our lesson, let me first read our learning targets. Identify the nature and background of hip hop dance. Explain the different elements of hip hop dance. And appreciate the importance of hip hop dance in optimizing one's health. What is hip hop? Do you have any idea what hip hop is? Hip hop culture is from the African American group of people who were looking for a creative outlet to vent their frustrations and disappointments with society. The Malanta 2006. Hip hop started with a punk mix reverberating at house or basement parties in the streets of New York, according to Aldrich and Stewart 2005. It has developed as a cultural and artistic phenomenon, affecting the youth worldwide as it reflects the social, economic, political, and cultural realities and conditions of their lives, speaking to them in a language and manner they understand. There are four fundamental characteristics of hip-hop. We have rapping, disc jockeying or DJing, break dancing or b-boying, and the graphic art. Let us first discuss rapping. Rapping is a vocal element. Usually, in rapping, we are singing a song which is based from our own experiences and based from what we are thinking. Rap music is the heart of the hip-hop musical genre according to Dimalanta 2006. The next characteristic of hip-hop is this jockeying or DJing. This jockeying or DJing means scratching or turntable record mixing. The third characteristic of hip hop is break dancing or b boying. Break dancing or b boying is an elaborate social dance form that came from teenage Latino and African American males in South Bronx of New York City, circa in 1970. According to the France 2004, this started as a form of fighting, a mixture of physical demanding movements which exploited the daredevil prowess of their performers and stylish punching and kicking movements directed at an opponent. And this is how break dancing or b-boying is done. Next we have the graffiti art. Graffiti art is also known as aerosol art. Graffiti art is the act of inscribing or drawing on the walls for the purpose of communicating the message to the general public. The word hip-hop was apparently invented by a New York rapper, Africa Bambata, real name is Kevin Donovan, who was dubbed as the grandfather of hip-hop. The hip-hop culture in the Philippines emerged in the 1980s as a result of a large influx of American musical styles. The arrival of the American hip-hop culture leads to the introduction of a street dance in the country's dance culture. The first Philippine team who won the World Hip-Hop Dance Championship is the Philippine All-Stars. The World Hip-Hop Dance Championship is an international competition wherein thousands of the world's best hip-hop dancers come and compete in Las Vegas to capture the world title and international bragging rights. It started in 2002 under the initiative of Hip Hop International and became the world's most celebrated dance event. This event remains true to the real values of hip hop culture. One of the pioneers of street dance in the Philippines is Juni Marcelo. He started the first formal street dance class in the Philippines after arriving from the US in 1991. After almost 11 years of living in a community dominated by African Americans in Los Angeles, Marcelo brought with him the knowledge of urban dance in the Philippines. What is street dance? The word street dance arrived in the Philippines from the United States 
during the 1980s but only gained popularity during the 1990s. According to the Malanta 2006, the word street dance is a Filipinized version of hip hop dance that was specifically used by Filipino dancers. Other countries, especially the United States, use the term hip hop dance when referring to hip hop dance styles. It's only here in the Philippines where the term street dance has been commonly used. Other than a form of entertainment, street dance competition emerged not only in the Philippines but also worldwide. Dance crews coming from the different places engages in freestyle dance competitions and meet on street corners or dance floors to battle other groups. According to the France 2004, there were no designated judges in these battles in real hip hop culture. The winners are characterized by their virtuosity, style, and width are agreed upon by all the participants at the end of the battle. These days, however, reputable judges are chosen to determine the winners in every street dance competitions or battles. What are the elements of street dance? Let's find out! The elements of street dance are Bounce or recoil Tightening of the body Agility and coordination And fun Let us first discuss bounce or recoil. It is a quick contraction and retraction or vice versa movement with energy or vitality. The body or body parts may move from one direction and quickly changes to a different or opposite direction. Example is the rise and fall movement of the shoulders that may be done with steady pulse or accentuated. The second one is tightening of the body. The body is controlled with firmness and strength to prepare it for explosive and sudden movements. The third one is agility and coordination. Because the body dances a complex array of interlocking rhythms, percussive accents of isolated body parts pop out in unexpected phrasing and that break dancers perform elaborate spins, balances, flips, contortions, and freezes. It must be able to move quickly and smoothly from one position to the other with ease. The fourth element of street dance is fun. Hip hop dance is not only exciting but enjoyable as well. According to the friends, hip hop dance is fun. And fun is an essential element of hip hop which offers its dancer a mechanism to offer kinetic musicality with a bravado that is easily consumed by an immobile audience. What are the different street dance styles? Hip-hop dance has several styles that comprise two main categories, the old school and the new school. Old school dance styles emerged in 1970s and 1980s breaking, popping, and blocking, while the new school styles, grumping, and street jazz developed in the mid-1980s and 1990s as hip-hop evolved. Let us first discuss the old school street dance. First, breaking, second, popping, and third, blocking. First, we have breaking. It is also known as break dancing. It is an unstructured and highly improvisational style that incorporates gymnastic and acrobatic movements. It was popularized in the early 70s. In great dancing, the dancers execute several exclusive acrobatic movements with breaks or freezes in between hands, that is, holding the position of the movement for a few seconds before continuing or shifting to the next move.
It is a great contraction and relaxation of muscles to producing jerking of various joints. The third one is lapping. It is created by Don Campbell in Los Angeles, California in 1969. It was originally called Campbell Lapping. It relies on fast, distinct arm and hand movements combined with relaxed feet and legs wherein the lock is the basic move used. Okay guys, here we go. What we're about to do right now is a simple popping and locking routine. First, we're gonna step one and two. All right, so we're stepping on the right and the arm goes up and we're crossing and two, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. One and two. After two, we go three and four, okay? So basically, the left foot goes out, the right arm goes the opposite direction, comes back in, touch your foot, your ankle, lock and drop, okay? So we have one and two, three and four, okay? Now on four, that arm should come back up from boom, ha, all right? So we have one and two, three and four. From four, we're crossing, we're stepping back on the right, five and six and six, okay? And that's where the lock comes in, and six. And the lock is here, lock, lock, boom. So lock the arm, lock, drop, lock, drop, lock, drop, all right? So let's take it from the top slowly. So we have one and two, three and four, five and six and, six and. So that's lock, lock, drop, all right? Let's take it from the top slowly. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five and six and. Okay, the next step is seven and eight and, okay? Eight and, all right? Boom, boom, all right? So, let's mark it from the top. We have one and two, three and four. Step five and six and seven and eight and. All right, let's try that with some music. Here we go, guys. Five, six, together on eight and. One and two, three and four, five and six and seven and eight and. Good, here we go from the top. Five, six, together on eight. One and two, three and four. Five and six and seven and eight and. Good, excellent, one more time. Do it with me, all right, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four. Five and six and seven and eight and. Nice, that was popping and locking. Let's proceed with the new school dance styles, which are grumping, house, and street jazz. Rumping. It is characterized by unrestrained, rapid, fire, and highly energetic moves of the limbs and torso. Hey, yo, LT, remember this track? We have house. 
It is a dance style that emphasizes fast, complex footsteps with fluid movements of the torso. The third one is Street Jazz. It is the combination of hip-hop dance style and jazz dance movement. Bring it 
back like she loves something. Yeah. Bring it, bring it back like she loves something. Yeah. Uh, in the club with the lights off, but you act a shy fog. Come and show me that you're with it, with it, with it, with it, with it. With it. Stop playing, now you know that I'm with it, with it, with it, with it, with it, with it. What you act a shy fog? Just give me you, just give me you, just give me you. That's all I wanna do. And if what they say is true, if it's true, I'ma give me to you. I may take a lot of stuff, guaranteed, I can back it up. I think I'ma call you bluff, hurry up, I'm working out front. Give it to me, I'm worth it. And that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope you learned from me. Thank you, and God bless you all.